Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me. In this video, I'm breaking down how I got through the six wins in the Mutt draft so far, and I did it exactly following the, the draft scheme that I kind of put out in my video the other day. I'll link that below in the description so you can see me do a live draft, and I use the same ideas when I was drafting this team that I just went 6-0 and to get through here, which I don't think it's really... Oh, here we got a bunch of Color Smash rewards. I don't think it's anything special for these 6 wins, the 40,000 and the 20 trophy pack again. It's too bad that they don't give the, the nice reward. They should have some sort of upgrade, because I think getting those 6 wins is you know, obviously harder than just getting the 10 <laughs> in it so i mean i'm gonna get the 10 in another four but i feel like they should have a better upgrade than that i just didn't have the time this morning before i made the video to to go through and play these last four but the other thing that i was thinking about if we look at the reward for for this this house rules i believe 10 wins a 97 nat color smash wasn't it a 98 for the previous one why'd they drop it down the other thing that I don't like about this is the three minute quarters. With the first and five, where you've only got two downs, they really, really, really should make it be, uh, be oh, two minute quarters. Because that's the thing, if it was two minute quarters, people wouldn't, uh, wouldn't play out the whole game. Because it's three minute quarters, they have more time, they're more likely to stick out those games when you go up by quite a few. Like Even if you go up two touchdowns, people are like, I still got a shot. Just, no one ever thinks they're out of it. And I mean, I guess I didn't too. I went down one game and I fought back there. And I, I it was a, it was actually a really good game. Um, I just didn't give up, even though I was just kept kicking field goals. He was up by somehow he was up 16, and he had a chance to ice the game. He could have put me away by kicking this field goal, but for some reason he did me the biggest favor. And he decided to fake a field goal and try to get the first down, which would have iced the game. But instead, it gave me another possession. I was able to bomb the ball down, I think, and get into really close into the end zone and then drive it in and get a touchdown to tie it up. And then somehow went on to overtime to win it. And it was, uh, and that's the thing. I think he started with the ball, then I got it. Touched one play touchdown hit luckily the next the next play and it was a, it was lucky for me to come back but that kept that streak alive I just never gave up but honestly if it was the two minute quarters I probably would have because I was just like I don't have enough time I don't know I just, I just can see it but if it was because of the three minutes and it was longer I felt like I had more time so that's the one thing I noticed I think they too is that they should bring back the rewards other than that how my game plan was you know run the ball I ran the ball a lot and then just I found. If you're doing that, then they kind of keep, they keep thinking you might. They're, they're, they're just you just catch them. I don't know. I, I can what I say when I'm running the ball, when I use my running heavy scheme and just focus on doing that, then they just seem to overcompensate for that, and then I can attack them to the pass a little bit easier. I had like a shot wheel play out of the Cowboys trio. I was in the Cowboys playbook that was pretty money i like it better even than the, i use the bills which is similar to the patriots which has the same shot wheel that that one but this one seemed a little bit different just because of the positioning of the wide outs and it worked really well a lot of times that wheel route just seemed a little wider and it seemed to get open a little bit more in the flats especially if there wasn't a harder cloud like right there and a lot of times i was throwing it to right in front of the cloud and just aggressive catching it i think that's how i won that overtime game and yeah i was just able to stick games out keep my lead Stay ahead. Someone messaged me. They, you know what? This is the thing. Someone messaged me, yo, and I was like, no, right away. But it's like, for two plays before that, when I was up by more than a touchdown and he got a touchdown, he started celebrating on them. And it's like, really? You're going to celebrate on your touchdowns when you're down? So it's down like, I think he got within five when he scored the touchdown. So I'm, I'm up like 12 on him. He scores a touchdown. He's going to celebrate. I'm not celebrating on mine. So pff, no, I'm not going to help you out. That's not what's going to happen. So I'm going to bust through my next four wins and then get some useless 97 for the smash, I guess. Probably won't useless. I don't know. Maybe that, I don't know. Does that help anyone? Maybe maybe would would help my team, I guess. It could. It's possible that it would help my team here. Team's doing pretty pretty good right now. I guess I have a couple spots that I'd like to upgrade. Um, P 
Peters, I got him up. See, the line's looking better this week. I just got these two spots upgraded. I've got another card for him that's probably super expensive for Peters here. How much is his basically finish card here? 318, okay. And then also, I've got, uh, see, this. That, that seems like a primary offensive line move right there to get him to 99. But I also have this Brandon Brooks, who if I upgrade him... With his, uh, his next tier card, then I should get him to a 99. So what is his price going for? See, there's none there. This, this, this card is just not available anymore, though. That's the problem with it. I did see one the other day for like 450 or something like that. But that's a little overpriced because he was closer to 250, 280. I just didn't quite have the coins. And then when I did have more than enough, I decided to go with an upgrade to Dion and uh, my LT. Get them finished instead was the call. Also, now I've got a Dawkins who I can also upgrade him now. I believe he's got another tier. Yeah, what's this card gonna be going for? 630. Gonna be a minute before we're buying that card, that's for sure. We're only sitting at 127. We'll see what we can do once we get our next four wins. Maybe we will be able to generate some coins. Give me a shout out below what you're thinking about uh, about the what I should do with my coins right now. What's the best move for me? Um, and also what you think about the Color Rush promo and what to do with my 97. Would I get that? Should I discard it and run some different sets? What do you think is the call? If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll totally, I'll run some sets and see how they go. Show us the odds. Let me know what you're interested in. And I also have another episode of my CFM series for the, for the first uh, game that I played there coming up pretty soon, the episode two. So look out for that in the next day or two. So thanks a lot for checking out the channel. I'm at Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. Just hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys later. Ooh.